All right, we're back. Finished the Xenophil, but nope. Xenophil shading, but nope, I didn't because I missed a part. So, got a little bit of white in here. Probably a little too thin, but I'm gonna make it work. And we're just gonna hit this edge. I forgot all about this part because I think most of it's covered up, only this little lip is exposed. parts spray out the remainder of this remember get one of these if you're airbrushing it just sends off a little bit of fumes but it gets rid of your paint really quick the excess paint I typically don't put my paint back in unless I know it's like really clean so I didn't want to show you guys me mixing the off-white color because of course the first time I mixed it I came out with way too dark of a color but now I got a color that I like scary part is if I run out, I eyeballed it. So we're in trouble. All right, let me double, oh shit, just got paint on my computer. That's good. So, after that mistake, yeah, don't paint in your good jeans or put your computer next to you. I wasn't able to keep up with what you guys are commenting. I got a bunch of good comments in the last one. I couldn't keep up on them. So, let me see here. What am I trying to do? Oh, reference picture again. Double check. Hopefully we won't make any mistakes. So here's our reference, the P Bandai kit right here. Orange on the front plate, orange on the bottom of his uh his chin there. All oh, that's orange. That is the cream color. Hope I got that in the right spot. Yep, that's in the right spot. Yep, I think we're good. This is pretty simple. It's only two parts in the upper body that are orange. Otherwise that's pretty split. So Looks good. All right, ready to work. Let's see if we can find us on this live here. Got two people on there. Who's on there? What's up, Michael? All right, people. This is, this is the one to watch. I think actually the last one's the one to watch because that had the uh, the pre pre highlighting in it. But now we get to throw some colors down, have some fun. So I'm just gonna double check my stuff is separated correctly. It's not any boo boos. Just did towards the back, so it has a little more time to dry. I think I'm gonna start with this one because it was only dusted. It should be good to go. So our little creation here, kind of creamy. Probably can't see because of the light, but nice creamy color. Uh, I need some more safety. Paint this up, so this is going to be the cream. I go crazy on the first coat. Guys, there for a second. 
<laughs> yeah, Mike, I think I'm about to go back to the glove. When we get to the, when we get to the orange, I'll definitely put the glove on. Glove will be critical. Do not want orange all over my hands for a week. Flying out the airbrush. It's a pretty nice color, though. That came out. Nicer than the last piece for some reason. Hopefully this is dry enough. Like this. This is the head. Top of the head. Sun's so bright right now. You guys can't see what's doing. Damn. Sun is super bright. But sorry about that. There we go. I think I'm gonna hit this one one more time because the front part didn't take the uh, paint as well. I think the exciting one will be the orange though. Because that color is gonna really jump. And the hard part, waiting to put it back together, or to put it together, and I put it together in the first place. Thing inside in case it's visible. Not really worried about good coverage, just get the idea of color in there. Not really trying to leave like any heavy pre shade or anything like that, trying to cover everything evenly because I already highlighted, so it should be good. Damn it, there's a hair. I pull that out. So then we have like four big pieces left of the cream color and then it's uh, just the little parts that are probably mostly covered up so we might make it with the amount that we mixed.
come back to this one. I'm not sure if I hit in here. Appreciate it. Alright, where are we at? Oh, and that. So we want some beautiful arms. Lovely, beautiful arms. Arms need friends too. Hard parts, I'm about to come back in and paint this uh, the uh, German gray. So I'm using it for my joint color. So that's going to be kind of hard, but I had to do it that way since I uh, see all these seams here, which came out pretty. This one's still visible, but this side's pretty good. So not too bad. big ones, redo the top of the head one more time, and then it's all small pieces. To share this to uh, let me share this to Facebook real quick because it wasn't a lot of after dark people, it was after darkers. Oh no, I don't know if I can do it. Uh, can I share off of this directly? Nope, hmm. To be that after dark time. To hit them up on Facebook one more time because after dark fans all here. Man, I wish the light wasn't so yellow right now, hitting so hard. Because you can't see how nice of a color this is. Maybe almost uh, eggshell? I don't know, maybe. Eggnog. That's what it is, it's eggnog. Anybody watching this later? This was the one day build. Try and demystify airbrush painting, painting in general, doing customs, start out with something very simple for a custom, we just doing a P band eye look-alike. Do it yourself, don't spend all that money, especially if you're in the West, when all it is is a simple color change, you don't need that, just buy the parts that you need and you can do it for cheaper and learn something. Now, if you know they got some serious stuff in there you can't reproduce, yeah, I get it. But a lot of this stuff, you can do this yourself. And this is the perfect case. They sold the parts. 
I don't like the other kit that comes in the P Bandai set, so I wouldn't want that one anyway. So why, even if I could get it in Japan for thirty-five dollars, it only costs like twenty dollars to uh, build the one I want. And paint it. So, and we're looking at like twelve dollars worth of paint and other supplies. You know, I'm assuming you already have primer, you already have thinner, but you know, the paint required for this is only four or five bottles of paint. Yeah, mixed together. This one more time. It's a little gray where I didn't want it to look grayish. It's still coming through. This has to be the most solid piece because it's at the top, so these colors have to be right. front skirt here. Who else is on here? The only person I know is on here is Michael. I see some, you know, some, I got people on here, but who else is on here? Hit it up. Let's see who's on here. This is the tonight solo after dark. on his moving game, probably painting walls to send Gundams. Get into his new spot. Sean was supposed to be by today. Let's see him. He's working on his uh, Haro contest. Bill's probably painting something desert colors. Zach's probably figuring out how to beat everybody in some games. nerd on here earlier. We dedicate this one to uh, I haven't done too much for Bill of Support Builders, so this is definitely one of my entries for Bill of Support Builders. I'll go back and uh, combine it into one video. I'll hashtag it up and all. You know, help demystify this whole thing. It ain't hard. I got like a $40 air booth here, if that. Homemade. Just like the $80 ones you get off of Amazon that crack after a while, this one's cracking too. But hey, all you gotta do is change the stupid tub, which was cracking. The plastic starts wearing down from the paint. Change that out for five bucks and keep on moving. Need another filter. That filter's getting clogged. Alright, these parts, I'm not even sure if you see, do these next. And I got a little bit of paint left after that, so I'll go look at what I've done already, see if anything needs a second coat. I'm going to hit these lightly, because they I know they're definitely underneath armor, so I don't want them to be all bright anyway. These should probably, actually, these should be, um, shoot. Yeah. These should be, um, the German gray. Those are joints. Uh. This is that, which goes on. This is one of those toss ups. I'm gonna go with that. This is actual armor. And I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna paint it still a cream color. It's part of the arm. 
so we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. But it's definitely under a lot of armor, so I'm gonna lightly mist it so it stays darker than the rest. This is the one day build. I would definitely check out the episode before this one. I did this uh, technique called Zenith, shade, Zenith, Zenith all shading, where it's like pre shading but for highlights, so pre highlighting. It's giving a nice effect to these parts. So now I've painted all the cream parts, as far as I know. Let's hope. Oh, it's a hard part. Do not want to make a mistake. This paint won't last. Take a look at them. Make sure I like what I see. This low real quick. Just a little bit there. Now I'm double checking all the big parts. If you're just joining us, I'm using a Tamiya Tamaya paint, potato patata. Um, I am thinning it with Mr. Leveling Thinner. So I'm basically getting a lacquer out of it. I primed with Mr. Surfacer 1000, I believe. Uh, about that. Mr. Surfacer 1000, yes. So that's what I primed with. I then Zenith all shaded it, which is hitting it with a lighter color from the top down, like in the perspective of where the light's coming from. So I think like sunlight hitting on this big mech, where would it hit? So I concentrate towards the front top side. And that's where we are. So I just put the cream color down that I had the hand make with uh, just a dab of flush, flat flush and flat white. Kind of regretting that I did that because I should have probably used, well, I think I only had black flesh, but I should have probably used uh, regular gloss white because sometimes you can cheat and uh, do your panel lines right on top of that. Sometimes. And since we're trying to do a one day build, cheating would be nice, but I think I'm just going to play it safe. I'll probably finish tonight off with uh, maybe gloss coating it. Come in tomorrow morning with the panel lines because hey, if it was P Bandai, all we're trying to do is get the P Bandai look. So P Bandai is our color plastic. We're getting painted plastic in the right colors. So I think if we just finish with a gloss coat in one day, we're pretty good. We'll come back, hit the panel lines tomorrow, and uh, it'll look great. Matte coat it all up again. It'll be good to go. This is coming out great, guys. Just a little pissed about this chip. I don't know where that came from. I don't even think that's where a runner was. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, noticing it's not even in that section there. I 
really want to get the color nice up here. Don't mind if it fades a little dark down there. But I do want it to be colored. But don't mind if it's a little darker. Because that's the point. I want my top, the top surface to be lighter. This is the back too. Not sure how much of this inside part actually shows, but I think I got enough coverage in there. So that is all the cream. Pretty happy with how that turned out. That was almost too easy. So now I'm scared for the for the orange. So we'll see how that works. But let's blow, clear this airbrush out a little bit. We'll go to orange and we'll finish up. Then we'll from the orange we'll move to the German gray, and from the German gray, we'll do the German gray with a little bit of uh, black in it for the feet, and maybe the hands, and the uh, hatchet weapon. So I think we can go right to the orange from here. I want to have to pause this, just keep it moving. So we started, I don't know when we started today, it doesn't really matter. Kind of cheated, but just like any uh, show where they show you how they did something real quick. <laughs> they already did some of the pre-work. So last night I cut the kit out, it took about, uh, I guess about 30 minutes of cutting and then another 15 minutes of sanding and uh, maybe a little longer sanding. And then I, uh, sealed up the legs, which I did a good job of that last night. Didn't do such a good job today on video on the arms, so I had to do that twice. But arms look pretty good now. Could be better. The legs came out really good. But the arms were the more challenging parts since they had a whole bunch of panel or large panel lines in them. It's a little annoying. Uh, you'll, a lot of people tell you to back pressure your airbrush, which works, it cleans it out, but I don't like to do it because it also shoots liquids into the back part of your airbrush where there shouldn't be, so I stopped doing that. This right now is clean enough to move to another color. Alright, orange. Orange is going to be glossy because I don't think they make a, a flat orange. Be right back with the orange. orange in the house. Got a 75% of a pop. It's gotta last. Fall flat on the orange, we done. Let's move them. Orange has been flowing pretty good out the airbrush. Just gonna use a little bit of thinner to orange. Like I said earlier, don't leave your paints on top of your uh, compressor. Or anything on top of your compressor. Unless it's in the airbrush holder, because when that kicks on, it will shake it off.
again, I used to love to back pressure my airbrush and percolate the paint together, but like I said, start forcing paint where it shouldn't be. That's not what you want. Not at all. Let's see how this is coming out. Got our little dummy paint, uh, dummy spoon here. That is right on gray. So that's probably what we're going to be looking at. Our gray is going to be, our orange is going to be pretty dark, but that's okay because I didn't really want a super bright orange anyway. I don't think that was the intention of the orange color. I noticed that um, Citadel made a really nice orange out of the love to use. It was a uh, dragon orange or something like that. That had been cool. But like I said earlier, I try to keep it in the color ranges that are accessible to people. So I use Tamiya paints because they're our most hobby stores around the country. Pretty easy to get their hands on. Let's start with this big piece here. So you can probably see it on here. Our uh, shading highlight job we did. Highlight across here and here. So you see how that hits the light. Careful, paint sloshing around a lot. It's very thin. It's coming out nice. I think you can still see that it's uh, lighter on the top than it is on the sides. This may take two coats. To get a nice orange color, but we'll see. Right now, it's like a dirty orange, which I'm not mad at. We might do two coats. Let me hit the that little part there got missed, and I don't think this matters here. But I'm gonna get in there anyway. That definitely doesn't matter, but why not? What you don't want to do is paint in a lot of spots you don't need to paint at all where other parts are going in because all you're going to do is make it hard for those parts to go in. The paint's going to start chipping off. And it's going to make the fitment chip worse, tighter. But if you need something to be tight, it also can be used that way. So notice I'm hitting these edges because I'm not sure what is exposed or not. And just to be safe. Here's that skirt where the uh, front was very highlighted. You can see it right on the tops here. The tops are very highlighted, fade, and then this edge isn't. See how that comes out with the orange on it. See it? It's crazy. Now we can see that. Man, I'm so sorry you guys aren't seeing the right colors here. This is looking very yellow to you, but this is straight up orange. I'm gonna have to hit this again though because it's a little runny and I don't want to run it. So let me do the other side. Might be dry by the time I come back. If not, we'll just put it aside and hit it again. edges on the, oh, on the back and also memory on your airbrush is important it helps you from doing what I just did and spray out way too much paint my leaves on the back so it doesn't matter I'm gonna come back to this one because I don't want to run the paint
That was Wu-Tang. All rights to Wu-Tang there. Long live the Wu-Tang. Triumph. edit that out when I uh, post it up. Now, I don't know if they can do anything about it live, but uh, they might hate it on the uh, repost. Ah, wish you guys could see this. This is looking great. So as planned, this top area is way lighter than this bottom area here, and then there's a nice little highlight right there. So unfortunately, you guys are seeing this like brighter yellow color. This is a straight up darker orange actually it's weird because this color you guys are seeing is not even close but there definitely will be pictures to come so don't worry yeah i don't understand how's that much of a color change but yeah so anyway that that middle section is darker and the and the reason that is is if you look at it this way all that would be shadows. If the sun was coming down, that would be the shadow part. That would be highlighted. That would be highlighted. All right, so this is going to be the annoying part. Hopefully we can get to this tonight. Um, this part is actually going to be the um, German gray in here. So they have to be taped off and done later and this thruster as well. Highlights right there. Just touch in here, actually want that to be darker on purpose. I'm not really avoiding spraying that spot, but no reason to put a lot of paint down there either. Inside of here, in case somebody wants to get particular, get a weird angle on my, sh on my ship. Looks like I might have ran a little bit there. Let's see, let that dry a little bit. Looks like we're almost halfway through the parts and our first reload on the orange. So orange is coming out the airbrush pretty slow. Thank goodness. I'm not going to overdo that because I might need it later. As you can see, I eyeball almost everything, which is very dangerous. If you like to be particular, don't do what I do. Especially when you're pouring the thinner. You're way over four. Which I think I might have there, so I have a little bit more paint. Let's take a look at this. So it's weird. There's not like, I didn't run run it, but the color sort of collected in one spot and left like uh, some areas that are darker. I think I should probably let it dry there so I can hit these other areas a little bit better to intensify the color. But what I don't want to do is force more color into that spot where it's collecting for some reason. We got another one of those spots right here. I don't know what that's about. Must have been put it, shooting it too hard, maybe it's too thin. In that case, that's definitely a spot where I do not want more intense color. All right, 
right, so I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. A little weird thing happened there. Clean the tip off. Notice a little flake hit on that last pass. Always look at your parts before you start spraying too. Make sure you ain't picking any hairs up in between. All right, I think I know what happened in the last one. When I was spraying this high part, I probably oversprayed into that one side here. That's why the color bunched up there. So he's gotta be careful with that one. Now I know and no one's half the battle, right? Try to hit it from this angle here. That one definitely came out better. Knowing the problem helps. Ah, mosquitoes are biting. Another problem with low-budget paint boot. Got the door open, so the scales of flies are being annoying. Now we're down. Actually, there's one more big part, I think. Uh, grab the next part in the row. big mistake, but I got my sleeves and upper arms I had them on the wrong side. I didn't paint them yet, but I'll have to go back and paint those the cream color. At least I didn't paint them orange first. Didn't have noticed that. That would not have been helpful. Hmm. Alright. Wait that mistake. So that's why you gotta keep double checking yourself when you're doing it this way. Since you're not, you know, you're seeing the pieces all separate out, you gotta make sure you double check, double check. Just saved myself a lot of headache by not having uh, paint over orange. Three big pieces left, and then go back and check that one piece. That sounds really weird.
This is a tough one so I only need a little bit and my poor hand is strong. Into the cap and the thinner into the cap into the hairbrush. Just to make sure we don't have a pour. Just a little bit. What's wrong? So again, if you just tuned in, this color is coming out very yellow on tape. It is orange. It's, it's, it's real orange. It's orange as orange gets, um, at least in the cup. It's getting sprayed over gray, so it's a little dark, but I kind of like that. I kind of want it mucked up and not looking like safety orange or something like that. Though I might run one more pass just to make sure that they all at least are orange. Nice and orange, not too mucked up. Ooh, careful there. It's coming out a little heavy. Because I thinned it probably a little much. Coming out really fast right now. Yep, <laughs> shot right through that one. All right, so that one probably will need another cook. So, uh, looks like I thinned that section a little too much, even though I'm trying to be careful. So, let's, I'm going to take a look at all the parts. Let that last one dry a little bit before we spray it again. And that one came out really wet. First part we did, I'm pretty happy with. I think I'm going to hit everything with one more coat just to get a little more orange ink. I'll give me a chance to make sure everything is good and uh, get that um, one that I just messed up on fixed. But we're going to lightly hit them up. Paint in probably about the same amount of drops, so we'll have that same issue of thinner. extra spray on everything. Get that orange to a little more true of an orange color. So now it's lightening up the orange, that second coat, coming off the grays. Get a little more opacity, if that's the right word. More opaque. Because I'm 
building the color up now. The second coat's really setting off. Now it's getting that good orange color. Not seeing as much of the gray, but all the lighter parts where it was a uh, use of light are still lighter. So I haven't lost the depth in the paint either, which is the goal. We don't want to lose the depth. This piece came out so nice, I don't even want to touch it again. Alright, this is the leg that was done pretty well. Colors are tight. Right. Be careful, I'm looking for my orange. There's a mistake, I'm screwed. Of course I meant to do cap first, but just pour it a little bit, maybe too much. I have two options, I could pour this into, I could throw it all in, I have three options.